<laughs> so what I did here, um, I'm gonna talk about my workout in a few, but um, I just washed my hand and I'm doing this, so I wanna explain what I'm doing. Um, yesterday I made some grilled chicken for the kids and they liked it. So I went to the supermarket today to grab some more chicken. So when I came here, what I did is that I cleaned it up and I cut the chicken breast in half. I removed all the, the fats out and, uh, <clears throat> and I show you guys the seasoning earlier, um, what I did because <clears throat> the reason I put water this time Unlike yesterday, let me show you yesterday's um, chicken because there's one more I have left. This is yesterday chicken seasoning. I didn't really put water in it. Um, so it was too spicy for my little one uh, for some reason. So uh, what I decided to do today is add water in it and then I will be grilling it in uh, the George Foreman. And they like it. Actually, this one, I'm going to eat it today. I should, oh, I should have... Uh, Good. Get it ready. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting this cucumber. I'll be eating cucumber with the grilled chicken once it's grilled. And I have some uh, yams. Um, it's boiled already, but it's not fully boiled. I had stopped it uh, like the day uh, when did I boil? Not yesterday, the day before. So it's half cooked. So I'm gonna finish cook it and then um, uh, eat that together. And then I'm gonna use the hot water from the from the yam to put on top of this uh, to clean the chicken a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna put the chicken in here uh, to for it to seasoning. And then when they come tonight, I'll just grill for them. So I'm gonna cut this. I have the chicken and the George Foreman is cooking. I'm gonna, you see, there wasn't really that much uh, water in this from yesterday's seasoning. So I'm gonna use the rest and put it in. top of the chicken was too spicy for him so what I had to do lucky you see I cut the chicken uh, breast in half so lucky for me the, the chicken breasts were thick so um, and that's what I had set out for them to eat yesterday so I had nothing else for them in terms of protein for them to eat so what I did is that I had to strip out the top layer that had the seasoning on um, and then uh, give him like in between where there was no seasoning so uh, yeah he made my something that i thought was going to be easy uh living hell yesterday i had to cut the thing um cook several others in order for me to make enough for him to eat so yeah today uh i decided to he ate it both of them ate it my husband liked it so that's why i went and get more um most likely we're not gonna finish it all um, what I'm gonna do is that, you know, I'll put some in the freezer um, and save it for another day. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, cover it, and then when they come, I'll uh, cook it for them in the judge format. And that's the one I'm gonna be eating in a few. So this is one of the avocados that I bought the other day, and this one is ready to be eaten. So I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna cut it, put it with this eat it with the uh, yam and the chicken. So I saw this car then, put a little more thing in them and then I'm just gonna scoop them off. Yams. I 
obviously I'm not gonna sit here and eat all of that. I probably will eat some a little bit later. And um, if I'm tired of it for today, I probably will eat some wraps. Um, I didn't eat that yesterday, like I said. Um, I was gonna do, but um, I'm gonna eat that like that. And I'm waiting for the chicken. <clears throat> It's good. I don't want it to be overdone, overcooked. So let me get that going. I took a little bit here. It's not fully ready yet. Let me give it a few more minutes. Uh, so while I'm waiting for uh, waiting for the chicken, let me talk about my workout today. How did you do that? How did you do that? It is uh, 10.45. This clock is one hour ahead. We need to fix it. It's 10.45 or 10.44. So today I went and I did chest. Um, my shoulders are still kind of weak. Um, I started with 35 pounds and then w one set. And then I, uh, up, I said I was thinking of upgrade. I went to the next level. I think it's 32.5. And then I was gonna, or 35 or something like that. I start with 35 and then I went to, is it 37.5? 37.5. And I find the 37.5 was kind of heavy. I did the set, but the next set I was gonna do it with a 40 pound. So I decided not to do it. So I did another set with the 37.5. And I went and did shrugs, uh, upright roll, lateral raises. Uh, cable crossover, no, not cable crossover, cable fly, and with the machine, uh, chest fly. After I did all of my um, other workout, and I did some chest um, exercise with the machines, um, those two other machines I started using, I went, actually I couldn't even go heavy with them, because after I did my uh, workout with the dumbbells, I was really sore. So um, I didn't really go that heavy on the machine for the chest uh, bench press. Um, after I did all my upper body workout, I did 15 minutes warring. I sort of wanted to do 10. I was like, let's just do 15. The way that I usually do uh, warring is that five minutes, I go regular pace. And then the next five minutes, I'll go sort of fast. And then the next five minutes... With the 15 minutes, I will go uh, really fast. And then, depending on the timing, I will go uh, one minute really fast and one minute uh, bring my heart rate uh, to a normal beat. And then back and forth. And then my last few minutes, I will reduce my pace and um, to bring my heart rate uh, to somewhat normal. So, while I was doing it, my knees and my ankle felt weird. They were not hurting. It's just they felt weird. Let me unplug the machine. So um, I sort of I did the entire time, but um, I, I guess because I haven't done the uh, warming for a while, so um, my ankle and my knees weren't feeling it that much. So um, tomorrow I'm probably gonna rest. Um, if I do go, I'm probably going to work leg, but I'm afraid to work leg because the way I felt it today. So I don't want to do anything stupid to get injured. And on Friday, I'm thinking, hopefully everybody uh, is, uh, is not sick. So I'm thinking, taking the kids to New York to see the trees and stuff like that. They have half a day, so I'm thinking, you know, I'll meet my husband at his job and then go uh, walk around the city. It's very cold today, so I'm assuming it's going to be very cold on Friday. So that's it. I'm so tired. That's why I wanted to do all these before I turn on my camera. I'm even using my cell phone. 
I'm too lazy to set up and do anything else. So I just want to keep update on what I'm doing. I haven't really edited most of my other videos, so I don't know when I finally do edit them. I don't know how I'm going to squish them all in one video or something like that. So, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, here's my chicken. <laughs> what I decided to do, I removed uh, all of the things from this bowl. Put it here so I, at least I, when I'm eating it, I could see it much better. Um, so avocado, yams, um, what is that, cucumber, and chicken. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of uh, lime, lemon juice on top of this. And a little bit of cayenne pepper and call it a day. I'm not even going to clean this because that's what I'm going to use again uh, when my son comes from uh, school and my youngest. So each time they come, I'll make it fresh for them. So they'd, um, I might eat this later. This is very spicy. That's the spicy one. Uh, they don't like it. They ate it. I had to uh, trim off the top layer. You see how thick this the chicken is? So I had to trim the top layer um, on both sides and then give them in the, give them the chicken that's in the middle and which they liked. That's why I went and buy some more chicken uh, for them to eat because it uh, they liked it. I guess they're sort of tired of other things. It's not like I did anything special with the chicken the way I season it. It's just that I cook it different. Usually I bake it in the stove and, you know, and give it to them. They will eat it, but I guess they got tired of it. But so they like it uh, grilled. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Today is December 6, 2018 and it's 8 a.m. So, I just dropped off my son to school. Um, I'm a little bit, um, I did not go to the gym to, uh, today. I'm not going to go to the gym today. I feel like I should go, but my body needs some uh, to rest because... Uh, Yesterday, the way I felt with my knees uh, when I did the warming and my shoulder is still sore. Um, I don't think it's injured or anything. I still could lift. I could do a lot of other things with my arm, uh, but I could feel it sore. So I'm going to rest. I wasn't going to go tomorrow also because I was going to take the kids to uh, the city and they have half a day tomorrow. Uh, but my husband was like, you know what? Uh, don't come. It's really cold outside. All of us just got, uh, you know, just starting to feel better. We just got, uh, uh, you know, the flu and we're starting to feel better. So let's not uh, rush uh, to go to the city and then bring back and come back sick again. So he said, don't come to the city tomorrow. So therefore, tomorrow I'm going to go to the gym because um, if I was going to go to the city, I was not going to go to the gym. I didn't want to be too tired because I was going to pick up my kid, my son to school, my youngest. He usually take the bus. Um, I always go pick up my oldest though. But my youngest, I'm going to pick him up still um, and then just stay home and relax. Maybe Saturday we'll do something, go to the mall and uh, walk around and probably... You know, there's some stuff I need to buy and uh, things like that. So we're just going to hang out. So today I'm going to rest. Yesterday, after uh, I was so tired, um, I, once I came back from the gym and I did a little bit of cooking, I prepped uh, seasoning the chicken and stuff like that. My um, my son likes it. Uh, my youngest, he's the picky eater. So uh, I reduce, I put some water in the seasoning. Unlike last time, I didn't put any water to turn down the the spiciness of the seasoning so uh, yesterday i put some water in it um uh he ate it uh, so i'm kind of happy about that so yeah i feel like i need the rest um yesterday when i came back from the gym exhausted tired i couldn't even do the small video and i have tons of videos to edit and today i'm not even gonna go on the computer i'm gonna try to stay away from the computer there's two things i need to do i need to uh, edit a lot of videos and there's a letter I need to write but I want to gather my thought uh, thoroughly uh, that has to do with the hospital I keep on getting bills from different people so I need to send them a letter each time I think I'm done paying certain bill more bills is coming in so uh, I need to know what the hell is going on so I need to know who has my information for them to keep on sending me bills regarding something that I took care of a long time ago so I need to take care of that so right now I'm just gonna rest 
gather my thought if I feel like I'm ready to buy the letter I'll do the letter but I need to really gather my thought thoroughly and uh, explain uh, you know thoroughly what my frustration is uh, you know and the bills are not cheap it's not like it's like a forty dollars here for it's in a hundred so I need to find out who the hell who has my information what uh, uh, why I should be getting uh, bills from people who has not, I don't know if they probably affiliate with the with the the hospital, but who knows? Next time I'm probably gonna get a, a bill from the janitor or something like that. So that's what's really frustrate me about the bill. I I send like two or three different payments, and this time I'm like, wait a second. They probably think I have money. Okay, that's my husband. They probably think I have money. That's why they keep on sending me bills for different things. So that's it for now. My phone is ringing. Let me find out what's going on.